what Rigathi Gashagua was telling you here. On Olive Garden Hotel, he claims that this hotel was sold by executors to a third party. Honorable Speaker, if you peruse through the documents, the third party that he said to have bought this hotel, Honorable Speaker, and allow me, Honorable Speaker, first to tell you that the joint executors of will of the late Governor Nderitu Gashagua were Rigathi Gashagua, Advocate Joroga Regeru, and one Mr. Mwai, who was said to have been his great friend, Mwai Madenge. And Honorable Speaker, if you read the report filed in court by the joint will executors, filed on the 27th of June this year, it says in the report that the joint will executors will make decisions independently of the beneficiaries and without influence from any beneficiary, except for one who is both a beneficiary and an executor. The joint will executors does not have the same attributes and mandates as for trustees, where beneficiaries would play a part assisting in decision making. What this is saying, Honorable Speaker, a document filed in court, is that Rigathi Gashagua, as a joint will executor, was also a beneficiary of the estate of his late brother. He was not only a joint will executor, he was also a beneficiary, and he was also a purchaser for value of the estate of his late brother. Olive Gardens is said to have been sold to one gentleman that many of us know, the Honorable Gishimu Givenji, the member for Gishugu, will tell you that the gentleman who is listed here as a purchaser for value for Olive Gardens, one Peterson Jomo Mushira, was a candidate in Gishugu, Gishugu constituency. He is a direct proxy of one Rigavi Geoffrey Gashagua. An honorable speaker, I must confess, and I am sorry to my friend Peterson because I know him. I just called him this afternoon when I saw this document and I asked him whether TM Civil Engineering Limited is his company and he confirmed to me it is indeed his company. I therefore want to tell you Olive Gardens was purchased through the proxy of Peterson Jomo Mushira with zero shares and TM Civil Engineering Limited with 6,000 shares. Those who have visited the Annex House, the Office of the Deputy President, know this Jomo is a permanent fixture in the Office of the Deputy President and therefore his direct proxy. Honorable Speaker, we are also told, Honorable Speaker, that these very hardworking young Kenyans, in the names of Keith Ikino Rigathi and Kevin Gashagwe Rigathi, who are listed on the CR12 of the documents that were tabled this afternoon by Rigathi, are shareholders of Vipingo Beach Resort that owns the Vipingo property in Kilifi County. The one the Honorable Chonga was speaking about. Rigathi Gashagua told Kenyans on national TV that this property is still owned by the family and therefore is still part of the estate. Keith Ikino and Kevin Gashagua, his sons, were not joint will executors of the estate of Nderito Gashagua. And the owners who are listed on this year 12 is Keith Ikino Rigavi, Kevin Gashagua Rigavi, and the estate of the deceased James Deritu Gashagua. It is a rather ingenious way of trying to hide behind the estate of his late brother. And how shameful, Honorable Speaker, that the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya would hide behind the veil of the estate of his late brother to disguise what is outright proceeds of crime because 
he is the purchaser of this property, and that is why his two sons are listed as directors and shareholders of Vipingo Ridge, of Vipingo Beach Resort. But he was on national TV telling Kenyans, this is a property that belongs to the family, and we have decided to keep it. This is a house of records, Honorable Speaker, and it is good.